Hi there, I'm Katie with Girl Scouts of Eastern Washington and Northern Idaho, and I'm going to walk you through the steps of the pumpkin launcher activity that's part of Virtual Spooky Science. So I'm going to show you what we're working with for this activity. In your kit, you would have received some craft sticks, right? Some wide popsicle sticks, some rubber bands, a cap. Yours is probably smaller than mine. I'm just working with what I have at my house and some pumpkins like these. So the first step for this experiment is going to be to glue your cap onto one of your craft sticks. So I'm using a hot glue gun because I've got one at my house. Um, if you don't have one though, this experiment will work with regular like Elmer's white school glue. Um, you'll just have to wait a little bit longer before you can move on um, to a, the assembly part. So I'm going to add some hot glue onto my stick. Oops, making sure that doesn't fall over. And attach that. So I want to put this not all the way at the end, but pretty close. That way I've got room. This is where we're going to be pulling back to launch our pumpkins. Okay, so that looks like it's going to stay. So I'm going to set that aside to finish drying. Unplug my glue gun. All right, the next step in this process is I'm going to take five glue sticks, or I'm sorry, five popsicle sticks. One, two, three, four, five. Stack them up and rubber band the ends together. Okay, like that. Then, as long as your cap seems like it's nice and dry and secure, and I think this is, you're ready to move on. So the next part, you're gonna stack up those last two sticks that you have and the other end, so the end that's opposite um, from your cap, you're gonna rubber band that part nice and tight. So that's really secure. Like that. Okay, the next piece that you're gonna do is you're gonna sort of pull this apart, see how it makes like a V shape, and that goes around the stacked up um, craft sticks that we did just a second ago. All right, the last part is we're gonna wrap a rubber band around this um, kind of intersection right here, where it makes a cross on top of each other, um, so that that stays put. So I'm gonna go diagonal this way, and I'm gonna go diagonal this way. One more time, there we go, all right. So that's nice and secure. And now my pumpkin launcher is ready to go. So we're gonna see how we did. So I'm gonna load it up with one of my little pumpkins that goes right there in the launcher. And I recommend holding down this part and then pulling this part back. Ooh, and there it goes. With your cap, you guys might need to um, or with your launcher. I'm going to try moving, if we move this part, so that cross part closer to the end, if we put this part all closer together, I'm probably going to get more distance. So again, I'm going to hold it down and launch it, and there it goes. So I think I've built myself a pretty successful launcher. You can also try holding this part underneath, although your fingers might get in the way. So this is all kind of part of the experiment working with it. And this is a really fun one. You can challenge yourself and see um, how far you can launch a pumpkin, how high you can launch one. You could also try using some different objects and see what happens. So if you have like a ping pong ball or a golf ball at your house, you could try that. Some other small objects like a marshmallow. You could try other Halloween candies if you have um, regular candy corn or things like that. You can definitely try and launch those. So this is a really fun one to try and do some experimenting um, kind of in an engineering kind of way. So try changing other things about your launcher. If you've got more craft sticks or something else, maybe a ruler that you could put in there to make that part a little bit taller, 
see what that does to your experiment. If we add more rubber bands, right, to this part, or maybe we put some right here behind where those stacked up craft sticks are, does that make a difference? So there's a lot of things you can do with engineering to see what changes you make and what effect that has on how your creation behaves. So this is one of my favorite activities that's in the kit because there's so much you can do with these. Um, if you would like, you can also decorate yours. I didn't decorate mine, but um, I've seen them with coloring on them, with painted craft sticks. There's a lot of fun you can have with these. So that is the pumpkin launcher activity for virtual spooky science. I hope you had fun with this activity and I'll see you in another video.